warm up. You will need a stun stand or a step. You're doing five reps of each exercise continuously. Starting with straight ups, left foot on top of stun stand. Go one, two, three, four, five. Into a lip, pull one, lip two, lip three, four, five. Straight leg kick. Go one, and two, three, four, five. Backwards. Arabesque one, two, three, four, five. Switch sides, right leg off. One, two, three, four, five. Into a lip, go one, two, three, four, five. Straight leg kick. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, arabesque, one, two, three, four, five, done. Next up, light stretch. Starting with head circles, go one direction three times, and you switch, go one, two, three, into a side, next stretch, switch to the other side, forward, and backwards, bring your elbows close together, fingers underneath your chin, shoulder rolls backwards, three times, forward, two, three, give yourself a couple of hugs, Crossing arms forward and back. Grab your left wrist over your head, stretch to the right side. Grab your right wrist, stretch to the left side. Repeat, other side again, and do the left side one more time. Good. Starting in the left high lunge with the right toe stuck under and right knee off the ground. Place your knee on the ground, untuck your toes, and slide into a low lunge, hips pressing down and forward. From here, straighten into your front leg, hips squared. You reach forward with your straight back into a half split, stretching your left hamstring. Bend back into your front leg, down to your elbows. We're going into a lizard pose on the left side. Keep extending your back leg and keep pushing your hips down to the ground. Your left foot and left knee will turn to the outside. Your left foot is going to stay flexed and go back down to your elbows. Back up, left hand goes on the side to the ground, right arm reaches over, we're doing a right side body stretch. Open up your elbow to fill it even more, come back up, right hand goes to the ground, left arm reaches behind you for the right foot and stretch your right quad. Let it go. Slide into a left leg split with your right toe stuck under. The right arm crosses in front, grabs the left thigh, and left arm reaches behind, rotating your torso to the left. Both toes are pointed. From here, we are reaching back behind us as far as possible, arching to our upper back. Walk your hands forward, reach forward as far as you can into a pancake. Your right side of your body and your right hip should be trying to get all the way down to the ground. Come back up, 
right arm will reach for right ankle, left arm reaches over your head and up and we're in our scale. From here, left arm goes in front of you, right arm reaches over and we turn into a bow and arrow. Our left shoulder is trying to get all the way down to the ground and our chest rotating up. Come back up, bend into your back leg, grab your right foot and stretch your right quadricep. We grab for a scorpion, rotate your right shoulder and try to reach backwards with your left hand to grab with both hands to the same foot, holding into your scorpion. Let it go. Rotating into a metal split. Toes and knees pointing forward, laying flat, belly on the ground. Come back up, we're doing hip tuck and arch, hip tuck and arch, tuck, arch, tuck, arch, tuck, last one, arch. From here, bend both knees into a frog stretch. Knees in line with your hips, lay down, belly to the floor. Hip tucks in a frog, we're going arch, tuck, arch, tuck, arch, tuck, arch, tuck, arch. From here, we slide our feet together, lay on your belly, play with the dog. <laughs> Ready for mini cobras. Hands underneath your shoulders, lifting through our using our upper back. Your elbows are squeezed in and back. We're doing five. From here, we're going to a big cobra. So our arms are extending all the way through. Shoulders rolling back, opening your chest up. This is the second one. And Third, on next three, we're gonna bend into our knees as well. Try to touch our feet to your head. This is one, up, two, and last one, up, three. Knees and feet together. Shake it off, rest a little bit. Gonna get ready for a bow pose. Grab on the insides of your ankles or toes with both hands and kick into your hands using your leg strength to lift and lift and lift. Hold it for and come back down. Relax. From here, stretch up. Do a little bit of a cow motion. We're going into a puppy pose. Chest and chin come down to the ground, but stay up high, arms are straight. We are arching into our back, trying to get our hips over as close as possible to the head and come up. Rotate into a downward dog. Heels will be pushing down to the ground with straight legs, shoulders as well. You should feel a stretch in your hamstrings and your shoulders. Your right leg is gonna come up behind you, keeping your hips and shoulders as squared as possible. And switch sides, left leg goes up behind you. Keep pressing your left shoulder down. Keep your hips squared and come back down. And we are repeating the same series on the other side, starting in a right high lunge. Left toe tucked under, left knee comes down to the ground. Hips are pushing all the way down and forward, chest is up. 
straighten your front leg, square your hips, straighten your back and reach forward into a half split, a split on the right side. Bend into your right knee, down to your elbows into a lizard pose. Right foot facing forward. Open it up. Right foot, right knee points to the side. Come back to your hands. Your right hand will go on the side to the ground. Left arm would reach over. You can do a left side body stretch. You can open up. And left hand to the ground, right reaches behind you for your right foot, left quad stretch. And into a right leg split, toes tucked under. Untuck your toes, cross the body, left goes on the front leg, right goes on the back leg, rotate your torso to the right. Hands come back, they reach backwards, we are arching through our upper body, reaching with your arms as far back as possible. Walk your hands back forward as far as possible into a pancake. This time, left side of your body, especially your left hip, is reaching down to the ground. Come back up. Left reaches for your left ankle. Right arm reaches above your head. Into a scale. Switch arms. Right comes in front. Left goes over. For your right ankle, we are in a bow and arrow with puppy in your face. Come back up. Left leg is going to bend. We're grabbing the left foot with your left hand. Stretching that quad. Let it go. Re-grab for a scorpion. Rotate your shoulder. Elbow goes up. Reach with your right arm as well. Get both of your hands on your left foot in a scorp. Try to square your hips and shoulders forward. Come out, rotate into a middle split second round. Toes and knees pointing forward, lay with your belly to the ground. Back up and hip rotations, arch two. Arch three, arch four, arch five, and into a froggy. This time our toes are going to touch behind us. Lay on your belly. And hip tucks, arch, tuck, arch, tuck, arch, tuck, arch. Tuck, arch, and open, slide back into onto your belly. Mini cobras. Go one and two. Three tight legs. Four last one. Five and push into a big cobra, full cobra. This time our legs are gonna be separated. Mad distance apart, that was one, two, three, and same thing with bending our legs, three, we're trying to get our toes to touch our head, one, two, and last one, three, come back down. Shake it out. Get ready for a full bow pose one more time. Grabbing our toes and our ankles from the inside, kicking into our hands, kick 
kick higher, stay on the belly, side of your and come out, stretch your back, do a couple of cat poses, and get ready for a down dog, second round. Oh, sorry, puppy pose, second round. Chin and chest to the floor, straight arms, lift your booty up, extend through your legs if you have the wall behind you. and come down, this time into our downward dog. Heels pushing to the ground, straightening into your legs, shoulders and armpits, armpits pushing down to the floor. Right leg goes up behind you, shoulders squared, hips squared, straight legs. and switch sides, left leg goes up. And yum. Over split series. You will need two chairs. Starting with one chair, left leg goes up, right leg behind you, I like to use the pillow. To make to help me slide backwards both legs are straight hips are squared shoulders are squared shoulders are right on top of your hips deep breaths sliding deeper and deeper into your stretch and slowly come out switching sides your Right foot is going to go on top of your chair in front of you. Left knee slides backwards. Hands go up, shoulders again on top of your hips. Both legs straight. Using your breath. With every exhale, trying to go lower and lower into that split. Slowly come out. We are going to rotate. Pillow goes on top of the chair behind you. Right foot, right leg goes up. Left foot, left leg is in front of you. And we are in an elevated split. This time our back leg is elevated. Shoulders, again, trying to stay on top of our hips. Back leg, really making sure it stays straight. Slowly come out, switch sides. Left leg goes up behind you, right leg in front of you. And hold, shoulders on top of your hips making sure that left knee stays completely straight. Slowly come out. Find the second chair. We are gonna elevate both legs left leg in front, right leg in back, and hold. Keeping your legs as straight as possible. And hello, Kenny. It's like, what are you doing? And slowly come out, give Kenny a kiss. This should be censored, sorry. And switch sides. Right leg goes up, left leg goes back behind you. Again, we're trying to keep those shoulders on top of our wrist and use our body weight to push us down further into the stretch. And slowly come out. 
and ready for a middle split. Right leg goes on top of your chair, left leg is on the ground. We are making sure our toes and knees are pointing forward. You are on your elbows, but trying not to hold your weight on your arms. Straight knees. Slowly come out. Same thing, other side. Left leg's gonna go on top of your chair. Right leg to the side. Toes and knees pointing forward. Your belly as parallel to the ground. You're on your elbows. Make sure your waist stays in your legs, not so much in your arms. And slowly come out. We're gonna repeat this time our toes and knees are pointing up. So right leg is up on the chair again. Your chest is up, your hips are down. Slowly come out. Switch side, this time your left leg is going to be up. Again, your toes and knees pointing up to the ceiling. Your bottom is down. Your chest is up. Slowly come out. We are ready for both chairs. Two chairs, both legs elevated, middle split. Left leg up, right leg up. Your toes and knees are pointing forward. You're going down to your elbows. Are staying on your hands, just making sure your weight is in your legs not so much in your arms. This should feel pretty intense. Slowly come out. We're going into a pigeon pose. Right knee is gonna come in front, bent. Your left leg is straight in the back. Trying to get your right leg parallel with the front of your mat. Leaning forward. We should feel intense stretch in our outer hip on our right side. Making sure we're keeping our right foot flexed. Come up. Your right leg is going to stay under. Left leg is going to swing over. And on top, trying to stack your um, knees on top of each other. Keeping your hips on the ground. You can lean forward for the more intense stretch. Come out, switch side, left leg comes bent in front of us, right leg is straight behind us. Flexing into your left toes, leaning forward, trying to push our right hip to the ground. This should feel intense in your left outer hip. Come back up, left slides under, right goes over, stacking your knees. Hips are on the ground, lean forward. And come out. Starting on your wall, straight arms, shoulder level, walk backwards, keeping your arms straight. We are Pushing our shoulders down, armpits towards the ground and to the wall. 
keeping your straight legs, slight arch in your back. Slowly come out. You go all the way up to the wall, your chin and chest touch the wall. Walk slightly backwards into a puppy pose on the wall. Arms still straight. And slowly come out. Grab your band. We're doing shoulder flossing. The wider your grip is, the easier it will be. The more narrow it is, the more intense the stretch will be. You're going forward and back, making sure your shoulders are not going one by one, rotating one by one, but both at the same time. Your arms stay straight through the whole time. We're doing 10. Last few, trying to get closer and closer on that band. And last one. Good. Let go. Chest opening, pinky touch behind you, your elbows stay straight. We are reaching backwards as far as possible. Our neck is long, our shoulders are pressed down. And slowly come out. Ready for a bridge towards the wall. Push into a bridge. Your arms are straight, you're shrugging through your shoulders, fingers pointing towards your heels. We are pressing your chest and your armpits into the wall. Slowly come down. Second one, we're gonna do bridge rocks. We're gonna be pushing our shoulders over your wrist as far as we can. Press up into a bridge away from the wall. Bend into your knees a little bit and push one, push two, and three, and four, five. You can readjust your feet or hands, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Slowly come down. Click. Grab your knees, give yourself a hug, give your back a break. Get ready for bridge rocks on your elbows. So bridge up, come down to your elbows. Your um, face is looking to the ground and we're doing small bridge rocks. 10 again. On your own count. Pressing your shoulders as far forward, as far forward as possible. Slowly come down and do that one more time. This time you're going to be looking in front, not at the floor, if not even at the ceiling. So go into your bridge, press on your elbows, your head stays in, looking forward or to the ceiling and press one, press two, press three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. And slowly come out. Get ready for a camel pose. Your hips push forward. You are arching to your upper back and your chest. Reach one arm at a time back, keeping your hips over your knees, reaching backwards. Remember, arch is coming from your upper back. Slowly come up and relax into a child's pose for a second. 
from here we're going into a mini bridge which is a camel but going all the way down to the ground so get back on your knees you're pushing your hips forward as far as possible arch your upper back arms go behind reach for the background come back up hips forward reach for the floor behind you if you can try to get as close as possible to your feet to your toes you can go down to your elbows try to grab them hips stay high and we have one last one hips go forward reach down to your elbows reach for those toes and slowly come out and rest in a child's pose slowly roll up and stand all the way up we have sliding back bands gonna start with wide legs reaching to back of your thighs legs and reaching as far back down as possible we don't want to lose your balance so work slow slowly come up your legs try to stay as straight as possible through the whole entire time you are pressing your hips forward really arching to your upper back opening your chest up and reaching slowly down our goal is to get all the way down to your ankles. Forward fold. Slowly roll up. We have one last one. Slide your hands down the back of your legs. Reach, reach, reach. You should be your furthest one. Make sure to breathe. Slowly roll up. Get your feet together, arms up, fold forward over your legs. Give your back and hamstrings a little bit of a break. Wiggle your feet, your legs, and slowly roll up. Find a door frame and a band. We're starting with front stretch. Your right foot is going up. Start with bend leg. If you are flexible enough, start straightening into that front leg. From here, slide into your split as far as possible. Both legs straight, pressing your hips forward. Our goal is to get our right thigh all the way down to the ground. Pick up your right foot and lift it up. And up. And three. And four. And five. Very good and slide down switching sides left leg goes up start with your bend legs if you can slide it into straight leg and then into an over split trying to get your left hamstring all the way to the door frame from here grab your foot with your left hand pick up one Pick up two, pick up three, four, and last one, five. Slowly come out. We're gonna go into inverted split. Your left foot is gonna stay on the ground, right leg reaches all the way behind. So you do a split on the door frame. Then your left foot walks a little bit further forward. You're laying on top of your left leg, extending both legs and going into this over split using the door frame. Walk your left foot a little bit closer to the doors and we're lifting your top leg. Go one, two, three, four, and five. Slowly come out, going to the other side. Right foot is on the ground, left leg reaches all the way up, starting in a split on the door frame. Reach your right foot further and go into an over split. 
leaning backwards into the door. Right foot gets closer back and lifting left leg one, two, three, four, and five. Slowly come up, roll nice and slow. We're going into a bow and arrow. Left leg is going to go on the side. Make sure we're starting with bend leg. Your knee should be behind your shoulder. Your chest should be up, not leaning forward, pushing your hips forward. If you can, you can straighten into your right leg, lean to the right, and reach over with your left arm for your right foot. Making sure that left elbow stays open and slowly come out. Going back to the other side. Left foot is going up on the door. Making sure you're starting with your bend knee. Get your left shoulder in front. Get your hips in and chest up. Then start straightening into your left leg, leaning towards the left. And slowly reaching with your right hand behind you to grab that right uh, left foot. Right elbow is up and open and slowly come out. Next thing is a scale. You can use a band or do it without it. Your left arm is going to be up on the wall on the door frame and your right leg will slide up. Same thing, using a strap or no strap, you are in a scale, extending through both of your legs. Slowly come down, we're going to the other side, bend or no bend. This time your right arm will be on the door frame, you're standing on your right side, left leg goes behind you, sliding on the door frame, you might be using your band extending into both legs and slowly come out. Shoulder stretch. Your bottom is on the door frame. Your hands are behind you gra grabbing above your head. Straight arms, elbows in, arching into your back, upper back mostly. You can walk down a little bit more and come out and get ready for a scorpion. Use your strap. Even though if you have a very good scorpion, this works your needles. So use your straps no matter what. Slowly walk your right leg up. Your chest stays on the door frame. You're extending into both legs. Remember, we are working towards our needle. So we're trying to get your back leg extended, your arms extended as much as possible as well. Slowly come out and going to the other side. Same thing, use your band. You're trying to get everything straight so we can not only get a pretty scorp, but work towards our needles. And I'm going to turn the other way. Your chest will help you keeping the balance if it stays on the door frame. Slowly slide up, walk your hands back, making sure your chest is open. Straightening into both legs, make sure your hips are leveled. Hold it. And slowly come out. 